All right, we're back for the next example. But before we get started, let's go ahead and talk about a couple corollaries. Now, a corollary, what that is, is a theorem whose proof follows directly from another theorem. So a theorem whose proof follows directly from another theorem. So we're going to look um, at two corollaries here that are related to other theorems, okay? So the first one is corollary, corollary 422, which states the acute angles, remember acute are less than 90, so the acute angles of a right triangle, remember a right triangle is a triangle that has an um, angle that's 90 degrees, are complementary. So the acute angles of a right triangle. So what two angles are acute in a right triangle? So uh, this would be the first angle here, and this would be the second angle here, right? Those are the acute ones, D and E. The acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. And what does complementary mean? Remember, that means that they add up to 90 degrees. So um, angle D and angle E are complementary. Therefore, the measure of angle D plus the measure of angle E is equal to 90 degrees. So that's 4, 2, 2. That makes sense, right? If this is 90, those two have to add up to 90 because all of the angles add up to 180 degrees. Okay, let's look at the next one. Would be 4, 2, 3. It says the measure of each angle of an equilangular triangle is 60 degrees. So let's think about that. Equilangular means that all of the angles are the same. Now, if we know that all of the angles in a triangle add up to 180, right, because of the triangle sum theorem, and they're all the same, it's basically 180 divided by 3, which is 60 degrees. So uh, the measure of each angle of an equilangular triangle is 60 degrees. Uh, so what do we have? We have measure of angle A equals measure of angle B, which equals measure of angle C, which is equal to 60. They're all equal to 60. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and look at um, the next example. Example two. So example two says finding angle measures in right triangles, okay? So one of the acute angles in a right triangle measures 2x. What is the measure of the other acute angle? So let's go ahead and decode this. One of the acute angles of a right triangle. So we know that we're dealing with a right triangle, right? And then it says one of the angles of a right triangle, triangle uh, measures 2x. So let's just say this one's 2x here. Uh, what is the measure of the other acute angle? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to let the acute angles be A and B. So this is going to be A and this is going to be E with the measure of angle A equaling 2x. Okay, just like that. So um, we are gonna use this corollary because we know that these two angles add up to um, 90 degrees. So we're just gonna kind of use this equation right here. So we are, we are gonna say that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B, right? Measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 90 degrees. And the reason is, um, just corollary four to two, all of this, the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. So the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. Perfect. Uh, then we're just going to go ahead and substitute this in, right? Well, this is our given information, so we're going to substitute that in. 2x plus measure of angle B equals 90. That's substitution. Now we're just going to figure out what the measure of angle B is. So we're going to subtract 2x to both sides. And we are left with measure of angle B equals 90 minus 2x. And that's the what measure of angle B is. So what do we have here? Subtraction, property of equality, and then 
um, simplify. All right, that's it. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and look at example 2A. Okay, this one says the measure of one of the acute angles in a tr right triangle is 63.7 degree, degrees. What is the measure of the other acute um, angle? So I always love to draw pictures, right? So we have a right triangle here. It says one of the acute uh, angles is 63. So I'm going to call this, this is going to be A, this is going to be B. Let's call um, A 63.7. That doesn't really fit in there too well, but hopefully you get the idea. What's the uh, measure of the other angle? So let's call this angle A and this angle B. And so we know that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B is equal to 90, right? With a right triangle because the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. So we're going to use that corollary again. So we just state um, measure of angle A plus measure of angle B equals 90 degrees. That's because the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. Perfect. And then we're just going to substitute this piece of information in for A. Okay, substitution. And then just figure out what B is, right? So subtraction property of equality here. That's subtraction property of equality. And then, yeah, we just need to figure out what that is. So I'm gonna have to borrow, making that an eight, that a nine and that a 10. So point three, 10 minus seven is three, nine take away three is six, eight take away six is two. So the measure of angle B is 26.3 degrees, and that's simplify. Perfect, okay, let's go ahead and look at the next examples here. And I want you to try these ones, example 2B right here in example 2C on your own. So go ahead and try both of those on your own. Here's my friend, the pause dragon, reminding you to pause your device. Go ahead and work out those problems. When you get done, press play and we'll talk about them together. All right, cool, see you in a bit. Okay, let's see how you did. Uh, this says the measure of one of the acute angles in a right triangle is X. What is the measure of the other acute, acute angle? So again, we have a right triangle, right? So I'm going to call this A and this B, and one of the angles is X, right? So the, I'm going to say measure of angle A is X. So let the acute angles be A and B with the measure of angle A equaling X. We need to find the other acute angle. So we know that these two are complementary, right? So we can say measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 90 degrees. And the reason is acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. Okay, perfect. Then we just substitute this in. So we have X plus the measure of angle B equals 90. Substitution. And then we just need to get measure of angle B by itself. So we do subtraction. Property of equality. Measure of angle B equals 90 minus X degrees. Simplify, is that what you got? If you did, awesome, awesome. Um, if not, go ahead and rewrite so yours looks just like mine. Okay, let's see how you did on 2C. Uh, the measure of one of the acute angles in a right triangle is 48 and two fifths. What is the uh, measure of the other acute angle? So again, we have a right triangle, right? So there we go. 
uh, we have A and B. I'm going to call A 48 and 2 fifths. Okay, and since we have a right, we know that these two are complementary. That means they add up to 90. So measure of angle A plus measure of angle B equals 90. Why? Because the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. Okie doke. Um, we know that the measure of angle A is 48 and 2 fifths, so we just go ahead and substitute that in. 48 and 2 fifths plus the measure of angle B equals 90. Substitution. Okay, then we subtract 48 and 2 fifths to both sides. And end up with the measure of angle B equaling, hmm. Okay, what was that? Subtraction property of equality. Okay, so I'm gonna take this on the side. So 90 and 48 and 2 fifths. Okay, we're subtracting those. Okay, so I need a fraction. I want my fraction to be one, and I'm gonna use five over five because five divided by five is one. Now, since I'm borrowing one from this, one borrowed from 90 is gonna be 89, right? So this is now 89. Okay, so we have, because I borrowed one from 90, making, and I wanted to make it, have it be a common denominator, right? So five divided by five is the same thing as one. So then we just have um, five over five minus two fifths. So five fifths minus two fifths. You keep the common denominator, basically just five minus two, which is three fifths. And then we just go nine minus eight, which is one, and eight minus four, which is four. So we have 41 and three fifths. So if you got that right, Yokoreikimashita, you did a wonderful job. And I will see you in a little bit for the next example. All right.